Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where we have successfully gotten rid of our robot uprising, but the unbidden have arrived. And they live up to their name. They're pretty unbidden right now. Now, I did run this forward off camera at, at the end of last episode out of sheer curiosity. I don't know how this battle plays out. I suspect not well for us, but we'll see. That said, the reason that I said that I ran it forward and I still don't know how the battle turns out is last time these guys just turned around and started heading up this direction. I'm not sure if they're going to Seoburg, Adrenal, or if they're going back to the L Cluster. Hard to say. But for now, I don't think this battle is going to happen at this exact moment. And that is probably good for us. We do need to do a bunch of work on our colonies. This trade station here really does require a commercial zone. That said, we're doing pretty well on our energy credits. This is also set up as a trade station. I'm currently... I mean, our Empire Sprawl is just garbage from our uprising. That is something that we need to work on, but with those unbidden here... Oh! I'm a moron! I completely forgot about our Ascension perk. Damage to Endgame Crisis Factions plus 50%. Boom. <laughs> well, that's gonna help. That's gonna help a lot. That actually, that has a huge effect on the landscape. Do we want to just try this? You know what? Let's just see what happens. I want to know. I'm too curious. You guys going? Yep, they're going. Very lost. slowly. <laughs> and they lost their orders. Go on. Go up there. You can do it. Perfect. How's that Juggernaut upgrade going? That should be close to done, right? Actually, it is done. Except it also isn't. Okay. <laughs> well, we need to do more upgrading, apparently. So we're going in with just a single fleet here. I should have thought about that, but they're all going to be following momentarily. Cool. So in they go. Fleet engaged. And let's see what happens here. I'm really, really curious. This could go poorly. But honestly, with all of our bonuses against them, I think we'll be reasonably okay. We're going to take losses, for sure. We're going to take big losses. But if we win this, this is huge. I feel like it's going reasonably okay. Emphasis on reasonably. I feel like it's fine. The dastardly enemy has sunk our fleet. Eh, yeah, that's going to be a thing. Now, the station is not helping under any circumstances. We took out the station, though. And we win. We win. Okay. Okay. That's a huge deal. That is a huge, huge deal. So we're going to buy in some consumer goods here, for sure. And we do need to go through our colonies here. This habitat, I'm going to actually have this go into... Let's see, there's no farming ability here. I think we're going to have this go to a foundry station. And we're going to put in an alloy foundry there. So that'll be fine. This tech world requires an upgrade, easy enough. This forge world, we need to do some repairs on. Now, this isn't really a forge world, is it? This is really a tech world. So we'll take that back over there. This tech world will also require repairs. We can't repair all of these. We can, in fact, only repair the one. That's fine. These guys, we can definitely repair. And we're going to get a bunch of this repair work done. We're going to need to replenish our pops out over here, of course, and that's going to be a little awkward for us. This is currently set up as a forge world. 19 unemployment here. We'll put in a few of those. Okay. This forge world here, we've got five unemployment. We'll put in a couple of districts there. 
This is set up as a generator world right now. It should really be a refinery world. I think. Well, actually, no, it shouldn't be. It should actually be a... Oh, hello, I closed that. There we go. It should actually be a bureaucratic world. We definitely need to work on our bureaucracies. So where is that? Bureaucratic center. There we go. Cool. So this agro world here, this could actually continue being an agro world. We do require more food and consumer goods. So that'll be fine. We can put in a food processing facility and an agriculture district that will fix all of that unemployment. This is set up as a generator world right now, and that's not the way it's going to be in the future. We're going to have this go over to a forge world and put in a pair of industrial districts. Now, we do need housing on this industrial world here. This is currently a research lab. Okay, for now, I, I just want to put in this uh, industrial district. We might come back to this later, but we definitely want these guys to go back for repairs. Uh, I, I want to select, yeah, all of these. Perfect. So just head back for repairs. You actually don't need repairs, but you can go upgrade and I want to select only this. So we'll have you go back to Jasmok as well. Oh, it has to upgrade in place. That's the problem. I gotcha. It can't move while upgrading. Okay. That makes sense. And we did take heavy losses, for sure. But we did a huge amount of damage to the Unbidden there. That was actually insane. I want to look at the fleet combat stats. Um, this is in Masim. Technically, this is claiming that they didn't lose anything. I don't think that's accurate. I really don't think that's accurate. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go back, get our repairs, and of course we're going to have to start working on reinforcing our fleets. We took huge losses. That's to be expected. But we'll get started on that. And taking out their most powerful fleet, together with two of their other fleets, that indicates to me that we can beat the Unbidden. So that's great. It'll just take us a little bit of... You guessed it. Time. So we're going to head up to Masim here and build a starbase there. Excellent. This construction ship is going to actually jump drive to Badukin. And we'll build a starbase there. Now these guys are heading up over this way into Obnol. That's fine. We're okay with that. For the time being, no issue whatsoever there. We do need to fix some of our bureaucratic centers, no doubt about that. And we're going to go ahead and put in an admin office over here. And I feel like we lost bureaucratic centers down over this way. I feel like that's a thing. We are basically out of food and we're going to need to buy in some more. We'll go ahead and do that. Excellent. Okay, just looking for further problems out over here. Data talk requires housing. Okay. We didn't actually build that industrial district. Sure. Now, this does need to be terraformed. It is in progress. That's fine. We could repair this research lab. That's not going to fix the housing issue. We can put in this industrial district. We're going to want to probably change this around later for sure. But I think for now, that's okay. We've got all that under underway. The final additions to the Strategic Coordination Center are several detached Hostile Force Simulator Bastions. These bastions contain much of the functionality of the Strategic Coordination Center on a smaller scale, but are completely independent of the main system. Within, elite commanders and their staff can become totally immersed in the culture and traditions of our enemies, and by studying their artwork can, be, can better understand and simulate their military thinking. Once fully immersed, they will fight virtual wars against the staff of the Strategic Coordination Center, allowing us to simulate con- stimulate conflicts. I'm gonna go with simulate. I think simulate makes more sense. With any possible enemy in excruciating detail, which can then be studied from the perspectives of both sides and our strategies refined upon. Excellent. So obviously right now, all of our alloys are earmarked towards replacing our fleet. We did take a lot of fleet damage. There's no doubt about it. We always knew that was going to happen. 
And are we out of, yeah, we're out of exotic gases right now. We're going to just buy in a hundred of those to allow us to spend additional alloys. It's going to take a while to get that all fixed. And this is a trade station right now. Where is this? Oh, in Gaping Maw? They must have retreated there. Okay, we're going to send, I think, the Diamond Sufit over there. The Diamond should be more than capable of dealing with this force. I don't exactly know how they got there, but sure. <laughs> so we'll head over there. And yeah, they're going to blow up the Gaping Maw. And they'll actually build a station there. And we're going to have to abandon this construction. And we're actually going to jump drive out. There we go. Okay, we're just going to run. That is an awkward direction to run, but sure. Mounting on rest on dead attack. Okay, that's fine. To be expected. And we're going to continue to reinforce our fleet, of course. The diamond is supposed to be heading up here. They forgot their orders again. I wish they'd stop forgetting their orders, if I'm honest. But here we are. Okay. So up goes the diamond. And we're definitely going to catch this force, and we're going to have no problem defeating it. Perfect. So let's check in on our colonies over here. This is set up as a bureaucratic center right now. We do need a planetary administration here. This is a tech world, and we need to repair our research complex and our research institute. This is a tech world here. This requires additional repairs. So we'll get those underway, but I think we're short on exotic gases. Yes, indeed we are. We'll buy in a hundred more, and I just, I want to get all of those repairs underway. So we'll get that done, and we need this trade station, which I'm actually going to swap over to a bureaucratic station, and we're going to immediately put in an admin office. This trade station here, we're going to do pretty much the same thing later, but okay, this trade station, admin office, and bureaucratic station. We'll probably change the trade district later. Cool. So we've successfully taken that, and we're going to move into Gaping Maw next. We're going to go back to Masim and build our research outpost there. Cool. We need to start pushing them back through the L cluster rather, um, uh, so that they hopefully don't attack Wodriax. That would be awful if they did. So we're going to go ahead and do that, push through there. And in the meantime, of course, we're going to continue reinforcing our fleets. We need 99,000 additional alloys to make that happen. We're going to head up to Nimalan. And we're going to build our starbase in Badukin. Beautiful. So we're going to start pushing back the Unbidden, and there will be no problem here. In theory. The Zikmok have actually taken back Yonox Maw. I'm thinking about going and claiming that real quick. Like, stopping this construction. Jump driving to Jazmok. And then moving over here and building the starbase. Come on, jump drive. You can do it. Four days. Go. Go, go, go. Okay. <laughs> we'll do that. That should be fine. And we're just going to push these back. Excellent. Anything else to be done through here? Yes. This agro world requires a planetary administration. So that is beautiful. We will do exactly that. We are attempting to avoid jump driving these whenever possible, of course. Federation Association offer, huh? We decline. Okay. So we're going to be attacking here. We don't expect these stations to put up any real meaningful resistance to us. We will burn through them very quickly, in theory. We grow ever strong. Yeah, there they go. Fantastic. And we did lose a Corvette. I don't care about a Corvette. That's not too important. Excellent. So the war in heaven is still raging. Of course, we're really only looking to defend our borders from the unbidden. So that's fine. 
There is a fleet up here. And to that end... I actually feel like we win. I feel like we win against this fleet. We'll take losses for sure. And I do want to start having the Bronzite Sifit move up to Imdar, although that's a terrible way to go. Or is it? 37 days. Yeah, I think that is a terrible way to go. Just come up over this way. That'll do. We'll just have reinforcements on the way. We can jump drive them in if necessary. We'll buy in a few additional consumer goods. And for now, we're just going to wait here. Because they're coming in. We have reinforcements on the way. Hyaden Prime has protests. The rise of the Manifesti, huh? Okay. Well, that's rude. We're working on it, though. This Forge World here, we definitely require additional industrial districts. There's also a chemical plant here right now, and that's okay. I do want a Ministry of Production to be put in. So we'll get those started. This Forge World here could use an additional industrial district. And this bureaucratic station needs a Habitat Central Control. Excellent. So our reinforcements are on the way over here. Estimated arrival date in 141 days. What? Why is that so slow? That feels like that shouldn't be this slow. Our jump drive isn't even on cooldown. Construction barge under attack. Now it's 76 days. Okay, whatever. So they did come through over here again. I'm not super shocked about that. That's fine. So these guys are going to jump into Finn. Our reinforcements are currently about 50 days away. In theory. Anyway. And we're going to continue to reinforce this. The Manifesti. The protests on Hyadim Prime have ceased almost as suddenly as they began. Rumors about their origins abound, but many whispers speak of a group called the Manifesti. This enigmatic collective seems to have been responsible for a number of provocative art projects in recent years, their subject matter every bit as spurious as the issues we're seeing protested on Hyadim Prime. We could arrest them for some influence, or we could let them have their fun. I mean, we don't need the influence. We'll arrest them. What could go wrong? Okay, so we're going to fight these guys. The Regarians are displaying psionic potential, and we did just run out of exotic gases, so we're going to buy in those. Now, I do expect us to win this, although we will take losses. They're taking heavy losses as well. Extremely heavy losses. They only have eight ships left, and their shields are basically gone. Make that five ships left. That said, we've taken heavy losses here as well. So we didn't quite pull out the victory, but once these guys arrive, we will. Now, I'm not going to emergency FTL jump just yet, and that's why we have arrived. They actually did emergency FTL jump. So these guys are going to head back to Jasmok, and actually we're going to jump drive them there. And the Bronzite Sufit is going to pick up the task of pushing these stations out of here. So they're going to push up to Imdar. Excellent. The Diamond did take heavy losses, no doubt about that. Our efforts to apprehend members of the Manifesti proved difficult, but have now yielded results. Once a slew of sympathetic pretenders could be sorted from the actual instigators, all Manifesti activities stopped. A great deal of public scrutiny is now coming to bear on our attitudes towards censorship, not least because this movement had encouraged such liberal thinking. Nevertheless, there has been a marked decline in vandalism and other civil distractions. Okay. So we're going to head back and repair, and also hit this Reinforce Fleet button. Beautiful. And we're heading up to Imdar. Okay. 
I mean, so far so good. The major problem, of course, is we need to replace our fleets. We are winning these fights, but they are at high cost. No doubt about that. We do want to get our construction ship building over here. And we're actually lacking alloys, but that's okay. We'll have them very soon. We're making 978 alloys per month right now because, in part, we're not spending very much on maintenance. That's definitely a thing that is not happening at this moment. So we're going to head up to the Dubious Abyss. And I'm actually going to produce another construction ship out of the Wodriax starport here. So we'll produce a construction ship. That'll be done very shortly. Excellent. And we're going to take out this station. No problem here. Here comes a Titan. Okay, cool. And there we go. The station is out of here. These guys need to be grouped together. There we go. And they are going to go through up into Terminal Egress. We'll see how powerful that station is there. We don't actually currently know, but I'm expecting it to be another 30k. Yes, it is. Fantastic. Okay. So, I mean, the Unbidden are still running amok over in these areas, but we've kicked them out of our territory for now. I'm going to produce yet another construction ship over here in Trebano. And we're going to continue hitting this reinforce fleet button. Excellent. Technology secured. So the L cluster is back under our control. We're going to enter orbit of the L gate here. And we're going to repair our fleet as well. That's back at the Scott station. Uh, we're, we're actually going to chill where we are. So, we're going to immediately have this guy come in and build a starbase. Why are you taking this path? You know what? We are going to forbid this system from travel. There we go. Don't take that path, please. Just come on down. No. Do I have to take it? Now they're taking this path. How is this faster? You have to travel all the way across here. All across the system to land in Yonox Maw, travel halfway across that system into the Scott system, have to go all the way. You could just hop into the hyperspace lane. You're at the jump point. How is this faster? I'm so confused. I'm just going to jump drive there. Like, stop. I'm going to jump drive here. Can we not jump drive here? I'm so confused. Like, why is this a thing? I guess we have to go this super long route. We can't jump drive. I'm, I don't know what's going on. We're going to go build a starbase over in Yonox Ma, and we have pushed our way up through here. That is wonderful. There are these guys over here. So we're going to take the Topaz over to Seoberg. We're going to hope to stop them. I think that we can. Yes. Perfect. So we'll get them out of there. I don't understand this pathing. I really, really don't. We do need more consumer goods, and that's fine. We are also out of exotic gases, and we're spending a lot of them right now. So that's definitely something to think about. Let's go through our capital here. We're going to need to resettle someone onto a different world, and we could put that onto, I don't know, like the Veil? Probably fine. So on the Veil, we of course need a job, and we'll make that be an administrative park. On this refinery world, we are going to want to definitely put in an exotic gas refinery to help offset those exotic gas costs. We're also going to need housing here, so we'll put that in. On this tech world, we need a job, and I would like eventually to replace the gene clinic with an alloy generator, but for now we're going to put in a research complex. 
This is a forge world here, and we're going to put in a Ministry of Production. Although, we're actually lacking the volatile moats for that. Okay. So, we'll put in that Ministry of Production. On this forge world, we'll also put in a Ministry of Production. Cool. And then we're going to continue reinforcing our fleets. I, I still don't understand this pathing over here. That makes no sense to me. But sure. We're building the Yonox Ma Star Base, and then we're going to head over to the L Cluster. It It's so confusing. We would have been there a long time ago if the pathfinding would have just taken the correct path. <laughs> but alas, it did not, and so we're going to rebuild our star bases, and all will be fine. It is now time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode, we are going to work towards getting our fleets reconstructed a bit, as well as getting these locations back. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.